Patrick's dead. Patrick's dead? <laughs> Wait, what? Where's the <laughs> what? Where's the song? Where's the ooh? I so I was so interested. I was so like excited to hear him go like ooh. <laughs> I know. I was fully expecting it. At least it sounds like they have Clancy Brown playing Mr. Krabs this time around. That's a step up from the other yeah, one. Really? Is that Patrick? Is he dead? Oh no, Patrick! Stay with us, bud. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui 101. And welcome to the bi-monthly poll winner for September slash August. Today we're playing the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game, which I've been really interested in playing this game for a very long time, since like 2004, I think. Oh wow, yeah. I've never played it though. Um, uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I've heard it's good though. Um, yeah, so this game was uh, developed by Heavy Iron Studios, the same team- no cheese. The same team that did the Spongebob Battle for Kini Bottom game prior, as well as Scooby-Doo and I Have 100 Frights, and then they mm -hmm. later went on to make a third Spongebob game, I think it was the Truth or Square game, like five years later. Oh wow, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I heard the Truth or Square game kind of suffered a lot from development problems, like no budget and not enough time to make or whatever. Oh uh, really? Oh, huh, just yeah. like the, the real thing, the real TV special that sucked. <laughs> yeah, but the Truth or Square TV special was awful. Yeah. Well, why is that picture so much blurrier than everything else? <laughs> They're just screenshots, too. Yeah, so... I was so... expecting motion. I believe this game runs on the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom, like same physics, same control, same models mm -hmm. and everything. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Um, do you care about this at all? Not really. All right. I, I mean, I already know the movie. <laughs> I already know the plot of the movie. <laughs> it was only the first movie I saw in theaters ever. This does look very much like Battle for Bikini Bottom, so why aren't they moving? <laughs> Where's the second Krusty Krab? Oh, what? Oh, wow. We're getting thrown right oh, in. Oh, that's because I skipped the... I didn't care about the cutscene. <laughs> yeah. He does move like Battle for Bikini Bottom. They are What's really, a... they're really big and really dead looking. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't they look dead? That's kind of creepy. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Got rid of the bubble. I kind of like the bubble thing better, honestly. What were those, um, what are those pickups? Barbells? Perfect. <laughs> SpongeBob's a tough boy. <laughs> it's very good lift weight with his anchor arms. <laughs> So, um, I, I have seen about two minutes of gameplay for this. It's much like Scooby-Doo Unmasked in that, like, I saw it at a friend's house very briefly, and then that was the extent of it. I never, I never actually, like, moved around in this game before mm -hmm. right now. Gotcha. And, uh, unlike Scooby-Doo Unmasked and Mystery Mayhem, I actually do consider this to be a sequel to Battle for Kingdom Bottom. Like, I, I consider Unmasked and Mystery Mayhem unrelated games to each other, as well as to Nine Hundred Frights. Even though Unmasked and Mystery Mayhem were the same dev as each other, mm -hmm. I don't think they're directly related games. Like, they don't feel mm -hmm. the same at all. Yeah, just looking at this, it looks like it would feel the same as Battle for Bikini Bottom. I believe it's... I've heard, I think it's more linear than Battle for Bikini Bottom, which it looks like it definitely is so far. Yeah. If you need health, collect a Krabby Patty or two. So I've just been really interested in seeing what this game is like for all this time, because I've heard yeah. good things about it. Mm. I've heard from most people that's not quite as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom, although I think uh, Prussian Kamikaze set's better. Oh. But at the same time, he didn't, I think, finish either, so... Oh, okay. I don't know, like, maybe he just didn't get to the best part. So, well, if he didn't finish Battle for Bikini Bottom, he didn't get to the dream level, and that's hands down the best part, so... Oh, come on, So yeah. he might not be qualified to say which one's better. Yeah, that's the, that is the best part of it. I feel like you really have to, like, finish both games to really say yeah. which one's, like, a better game. <laughs> but, oh well. Or at least, like, I don't know, because, like, if they're both good games, it's really hard. Like, some games you can just play, like, five minutes and be like, this is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, if they're both good games, I feel like you probably, like, you need to really see what they all have to offer mm -hmm. before you say which is better. Ooh, Patrick. I know you can play as Patrick in this game, too, just like a Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I don't think you can play as, a uh, Sandy in this one. Aw. Uh -huh. Can you play as Mindy? Probably not. Darn. That's unfortunate, because Sandy's my favorite character in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, no, me too. I feel like she's everyone's favorite character. <laughs> yeah, because she was the most fun. She was the most, like, agile. Yeah, with the lasso. Do I have oh, to, like... Yeah, she could, you... like, a helicopter. Well, that's... You're killing jellyfish. Good. SpongeBob doesn't kill jellyfish. Well, this is a dream sequence, anyway. Oh, still. It's a movie star. He's got to go, like, save the customer for his, like, <laughs> cheese or whatever. Still, I don't think SpongeBob would dream about that. <laughs> Depends. It could be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Hello Pro Box. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm yeah. Oh, oh, sliding. Oh, the tongue. Okay, I was not expecting that. That didn't look like a slide. <laughs> no, neither did I. <laughs> I mean, you can very clearly tell this is the same team that did Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's like yeah. all the same gameplay mechanics and everything. I like that. Yeah, I don't like things to be exactly the same as the first, but I mean, I, I, I like the teleport box. Like, Yeah, I like cool. I like how it's got like recognizable mechanics, but also has like its own feel so far. Yeah. Locked a new extra. extra. I might be crazy. Oh, Maybe. shit. I might be crazy, but it feels to me like uh, he doesn't jump as high. It could just really? be that I haven't played Battle for Bikini Bottom in a while. Mm, maybe. Also, I noticed I took damage from jumping in the water, whereas in Battle for Bikini Bottom, you just kind of got bounced out without taking damage. Hmm. Unless, like, you, like, fell into it consecutively, at which point you die. Yeah. Huh. So that's interesting. It actually, like, does... hits you now, which... <gasps> that was something I thought was, like, way too easy about Battle for Bikini Bottom, was that jumping in water was not punishing at all. 
Yeah. You have to pretty much like ground pound it to die from it. <laughs> I guess these are the TQ replacements. These uh, pickle like boxes. Explosive. Oh, I they're thought they were boxes. explosive boxes. Oh, there's plankton on them. All oh, right. like crash. <laughs> like like one of the crash boxes that blew up. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> so oh. Maybe if I hitched a ride for one of those, I'd be able to get to the customer in time before he dies. He's probably dead already. <laughs> like, there's no cheese in this sandwich. He, like, keels over and starts, like, dying. That's what I would do if there was no cheese. <laughs> I apologize if we don't sound our liveliest today. Um, True to Pennsylvania's nature, it is disgusting, rainy, and depressing outside, and I want to fucking die because this right. is the worst fucking state in the world. Right. So it's just, like... It's just ugly out today, and like I shouldn't be shocked. That's every day in Pennsylvania, but like mm -hmm. today's like really ugly. Yeah. So I always feel like super depressed when it's ugly like this. So do I. It's just uh, you look outside and there's no sun. And honestly, the atmosphere right now is also pretty like not sunny. Mm -hmm. I feel like the colors look a little washed out, which could just be because we're playing on a Wii yeah. U and the Wii U is a piece of shit. But I was gonna ask, how was the wall jump? Was it the same? Um, yeah, it was just as terrible. So it was about bikini bottom. This was like <laughs> such an unfinished mechanic where it's like you could just cut that. Yeah. <laughs> this clearly wasn't like ready for release. The, the wall jump. That's like my biggest problem about bikini bottom. Mm -hmm. The wall jump does not feel good at all. Yeah. Do those... I feel like the jellies are kind of awkward to hit. It feels oh like it has like slightly less range with this because in Battle Bikini Bottom he spun around with a bubble wand which meant that like you were safe you know what I mean the bubble yeah. wand's like a disjoint they can't hit your bubble wand yeah here it feels like they can like hit your hand as you're spinning around I was yeah I was actually just about to ask that it doesn't look like they give you any feedback do they when you hit them no like they oh goofy goober tokens like the Sweet. golden spatula replacements you know definitely so far it feels like the uh the combat it feels slightly worse because it doesn't give you as much feedback as off mm -hmm. Bikini did also, I don't know if it's just because we're playing on a Wii U, but I wasn't getting, like, any vibrations or anything on the controller. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I'm ready. Depression. <laughs> yeah, so far this is kind of... It's not like a collect-a-thon. At least not yet. Yeah. It seems we'll more see. linear. Yeah, that, that was just a tutorial, though, so it could get... Well, it's the fact that this is, like, another, like... It's because they got to follow the story of the movie, you know? Yeah. Oh, we're Oh, now. <laughs> that looks awkward. Wait, where's his belly bump? He's drunk. And where's his ground pound? Why does he have less moves? That's lame. Okay, that's something I really don't like. When, like, a game sequel makes the character have, like, less abilities. Yeah. Like the Nicktoons you know, like games. I mean, I guess he spins around drunk now. But that replaces but... one. Yeah. And then they got rid of the ground pound. Oh, oh he's just a bad guy. He just vomits on you because so he's just, drunk, too. So you just kill him. <laughs> but, like, okay, that reminds me of, like, Battle for Volcano Island. Like, Nicktoons Night was awful. And, like, mm -hmm. part of what made it suck is the combat was so simple. And then yeah. they made it simpler in the sequel, where they actually made you have less abilities, and there was no reason to play as different characters in that, because they straight up had, like, nothing unique about them. Mm. Same uh, reuse sound bites from the first game. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of that? disappointing that, like, my first... I mean, keep in mind, it's my first impression of the combat. It could be better later on. Maybe I have to unlock other abilities or something. Yeah, no, that's true. But just first impression of the combat does not feel as good. What's and the... I'm disappointed it's not vibrating. But that could just, again, be, like, that we're playing on a Wii U. Yeah. What's the difference between those red barbells and the yellow ones? Red ones go up one. Oh. And, oh. Okay, there's no warning of that. <laughs> See how much you... Green ones go up five. Oh. So yellow ones probably go up... Yellow ones go up, like, three, it looks like. Gotcha. It's not, or two, maybe. <laughs> plankton boxes. <laughs> this is plankton-ass boxes. <laughs> now we're in a barber shop. Um, I feel like this looks very reminiscent of the Goofy Goober place. It does, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like because it's so linear, the platforming itself is way less interesting than Battle for Bikini Bottom so far. I've noticed. Like, I don't know. Again, first impression, I don't want to judge a game on the first level. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to judge a game on the first level, but like, since we're playing this for an hour, I kind of have to. Yeah. Or like it, 45 minutes or whatever. Yeah. Got a multi the combo thing does not look anywhere near as interesting. How it's yeah. not like flashing on the bottom, it's just like up there awkwardly on mm -hmm. the side. I like the shiny objects more. I like how Patrick has a cup on his head, though. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> he's got ice cream on his face, too. And he's jumping higher than Battle Freaking Bomb. Battle Freaking Bomb, he had, like, the lowest jump in this game. It feels like the same as SpongeBob's. <laughs> oh, my God. They're both so dr they're hungover, see? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh, where's oh, oh, my God. He's angry. Why are they attacking us? He's an angry drunk. <laughs> yeah, okay, he was, like, like, doing combat dodges and stuff. And, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I don't... I don't like that. Yeah. I kind of just, in, at least in Spongebob games, I'm kind of just like running around and beating them up. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm still intrigued by this, you know? Yeah. I don't want to sound too negative with it. It's, I feel so negative because it's so depressing outside today. <laughs> if it was like a bright sunny day, then like I'd feel yeah. so much happier playing this. Plus this level's called I'm Ready Depression. Yeah, that so. too. So. 
Um, so we should probably talk about why we're recording this today. It is like, what, three days to the end of October now? Yeah. I really needed this up before the end of October mm -hmm. because this is the September October poll winner. And like, I didn't want to disappoint people there. Oh my. Oh, I kind of like the detail on that. That's cool. Even yeah. though you run right through it. <laughs> you can just get in the sink. <laughs> oh, there he is. So we were really pressed for time. Um, I've been super busy since I've been working a full time job lately. Yeah. Um, that's a problem. And then, like, we just had, like, other things getting in the way constantly. Yeah. Oh, gross. I think we're trying to catch up to SpongeBob. That's mm. the impression I'm getting. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's like a robot machine. See, it spawns Oh, them. yeah. There is absolutely no feedback when you hit them. They don't, like, go <laughs> flying or they just kind of, like, awkwardly, like, stumble. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It's not like Bob and Kiki like, they go flying when you hit them. So, like, you know you hit them. Yeah. This is just, like, like that. It's... Like, it looks like they're going to take more hits. Yeah. It, I'll, it's a little weird that that thing is shooting people out of it. Like, also, <laughs> I had hit that like three times and there was like no feedback that you hit the first two. Mm. Also, it doesn't... Wait, it didn't have like the big like checkpoint text in the bottom, right? Oh, I thought it did earlier. No. It... I guess it didn't. What the... So... What? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is that? Since when does Patrick have a lasso tongue? <laughs> Ooh, I found a secret. Ooh, sweet. I think it's just monies. Popcorn. So, like, do these have any purpose in this game? Because, like, the shiny objects in Valve Kiki Bomb were used to, like, open doors and to pay Mr. Krabs for specials. Uh, I don't know. It looks like if I get to, like, 1,500 and level, something happens. Hmm. It's probably just, like, the just, like the true Jedi thing in LEGO Star Wars. Just collect mm. and turn on money for, like, a reward. Yeah. Which is cool. I like that. Yeah. Because it gives you a sense to want to break things. But, yeah. like, I, don't, I feel like... Call me crazy. I feel like these hit sounds are not satisfying. They're... Yeah... Like they're, I don't think so either. They're so weak sounding. <laughs> okay, it's not like like the Balfour Green one was like whoo, whoo, every time. Here it's yeah. just like <laughs> it's this crumpling paper. It's like this. It's like the sound effects in Smash Bros. Four. Yeah. How like how like in Brawl when like I hit someone with a side smash, it's like boom. Yeah. And then in Smash Four when I hit someone with a side smash, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And like that's it. Like that's what that felt like to me. It's just like that is those like unsatisfying. Like he didn't hit that. It didn't feel like he hit that. <laughs> So I wonder if Patrick's little drunk swirl is going to go away after this Probably. Level. Probably. Yeah, like, I'm not getting any feedback at all from yeah, this combat. Yeah, it doesn't look like it either. That was my first impression. That's, oh, a jellyfish. That's really d disappointing because I felt Battle for Bikini Bottom hit the combat, like, perfectly. Where, like, it was, like, it was easy combat. You're not playing because it's a super complex combat. It was very satisfying because you got a lot of feedback initially when you hit someone. The sound effects were really good. The visual direction was really good for that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Scarlett Johansson, what are you doing here? <laughs> doesn't sound like Scarlett Johansson. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Zero out of ten. I want Scarlett Johansson in here. Scarlett <laughs> Johansson mermaid. I'm sure she has better things to do than being a SpongeBob game. Yeah, well, they couldn't even get Clancy Brown for the first game. I know. Which is really disappointing, because the guy they got to replace him doesn't sound anything like him. Yeah. And they couldn't get uh, Ernest Borgnine either for Mermaid Man. Aw. Yeah, that was really sad. They had the same guy do both because they were like Joe White or something. Joe White. Which like that's like exactly the name I'd imagine for that guy, you know? <laughs> Just like some guy who impersonates Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man really yeah. poorly. Joe White. Doesn't that sound like what you'd call him? <laughs> yeah. He's a faker. <laughs> he is a faker. Hammer tapping would really not like him. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like this game it feels really slow paced. Yeah. And for it's like something that's so linear. Combat arena challenge and then what's on this side? Talk to Mindy. Very good. <laughs> Patrick wants to talk to Mindy. I don't want to talk to Mindy. <laughs> it's just candy. Oh. I feel like like this is way too linear for the slow pacing. Yeah. The slow pacing works better in like a game where it's like way less linear. Like where it's way more open ended. Mm hmm. You know. This is like feeling to me like a much better version of Scooby Doo Unmasked. Mm. It is much better, mind you. It's not like anywhere near that bad. I would call this bad. It's just like. I don't know, it feels like it's missing a lot of the charm for Battle Bikini Bottom. Yeah. That's kind of disappointing. I get that. Mm -hmm. Like, so far I'm not getting like, any sense of flow from this game, you know? Yeah. Oop. Like, even this, it's like so much slower than the jump in Battle Bikini Bottom, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like, in Battle Bikini Bottom, like, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. And here it's just like, doing, doing. <laughs> it was like so awkwardly slow. Like, even a spin looks too slow to me. Yeah. Like, that doesn't look like satisfying that. at all. Mm-mm. We should probably talk a little about the Battle for Kingdom Hearts remake because that comes out like next summer. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Next summer? Yeah. The August 20th, I think, is the tentative release date. I'm not sure it's necessarily mm. going to be the final release date, but. Yeah. I mean, I'm interested. I'm interested, but like, I don't like the visual direction at all because it doesn't look anything like SpongeBob. 
Yeah. And then, like, it has a problem with this where, like, his spin attack looks awkwardly slow. His ground pound looks awkwardly slow. Mm-hmm. So, eh, I feel like the Battle for Queen Bottom remake might be a little overhyped just because of nostalgia. Because, yeah. like, from what I'm seeing from, like, the actual remake, it doesn't look that good to me. Yeah. And, like, as for the visuals, I feel like most people are just, like, yeah, it's of quality like it looks most better peop- in yeah. that regard no, most people are like totally caught up in the fact that yes these are higher quality models but the art style is it doesn't look what i don't like, like this this is worse models than the battle for piano remake like straight up is objectively worse models visually yeah but like it looks more like spongebob to me yeah like the battle for piano remake doesn't look anything like spongebob yeah they- you know what i mean it just looks like generic like Here's, like, a, mm. a, a yellow block of cheese. <laughs> I'll never understand why more people haven't taken inspiration from Sly Cooper's style. I don't know why why people don't follow Sly Cooper art style. It's, like, perfect for a cartoon game. Oh, my. And you bring that up, and so many people are like, I don't know, I like the style looking like this. And I'm like, you are just saying that because that's what you saw. Yeah. And, like, if you, they made a cell shade, you'd like that, too. You like that it's higher quality you know, you, you don't like... I mean, maybe you like the art style. No, I mean, there are probably people who do, but, like, yeah. I also feel like there's a lot of people who would like a uh, more cel shade look, too, if they yeah. just gave it a chance, you mm-hmm. know? But, I don't know. Yeah. It, it looks too much to me, like... It looks too much to me, like... Uh, what's a good, like, comparison game? Mm. It kind of reminds me of the Link's Awakening remake a little bit. Uh, yeah, and how plastic it looks. Yeah. Which, I'm not a fan. I don't like when anything looks plastic in games. Mm-hmm. Unless you're supposed to be, like, a Toy Story game, you shouldn't look plastic, I say. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously, if you're, like, Buzz Lightyear and Sheriff Woody, then, yeah, look plastic. I mean, yeah. I think these are just Battle for Bikini Bottom enemies. And he's, like, the little dog ones with the bad breath. He's, yeah. like, the hammer robot. Yeah. That's kind of lame. This combat is so slow. Mm-hmm. It just feels so much slower than the first game. Yeah. All right, wave two with the same sound effect from the first game. Also, I apologize if you hear, like, people talking in the background. Uh, we have company over today, but... Yeah, it's a like busy said, weekend. We, we kind of had to record this today. Mm-hmm. And we only have, a, like, an hour left where you have to go to. Yeah. Here comes the Like, again, wave. this is just, like, there's the same, like, two enemies, mm-hmm. and you just have to kill 50 of them now. Yeah. Also, before, why were, like, cannons shooting people out? Like, it made sense in the first game that a cannon or, like, a machine would be shooting out robots. But why were they One thing I do people? like is one of the combos in this game was called the Manly Smash. Oh my god. That's kind of fun. I That's pretty funny. That. That's great. Yeah, now like, that we're men. I just like... This combat's not good. Mm. And the first game's combat was by no means a masterpiece, but like it was better. Yeah. It was it was distinctly like smoother feeling. It had like way more feedback. It had like... It was way more satisfying to hit things. Um, yeah. There were more... I mean, we're early on in the game, but like... I feel like at this point in the game, we should have a little more than just two enemies. I guess yeah. the jellyfish, if you want to count three, but... I don't like the jellyfish, though. Well, yeah, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> and I feel like, so far, like, the platforming hasn't been anything interesting. Yeah. You know? I feel like their hearts were definitely in the right oh, place, yes, though. Oh, yes, yes. I, I would never call this... Like, nothing about this feels lazy to me. Mm-hmm. This feels to me like... Battle for Bikini Bottom was a game they made, and they didn't really have, like, a strict timeline for us. They could really, like, put everything into it. Right. This feels to me like they had to get out by the time the movie was out. Yeah, so it they does. Re- so they didn't really have time to make it as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's why Battle for Bikini Bottom was so good, because it was, like, it wasn't like anyone was anticipating that game, you Yeah. Know? It's not like they had to, like, link it up to, like, a specific episode's release or anything. Mm-hmm. So, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom was just allowed to be a good game. Yeah. This, like, I feel like while making this, they were restricted because Nicole and I was probably like, all right, you gotta get out by, like, the same week as the movie or something. And, like, yeah. It feels like they're rushing so far. <laughs> yeah, which is unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Another Goofy Goober token. I like how it's just the happy peanut. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a good replacement for the golden spatula. No, it really is. That's like, that's a clever idea. Mm-hmm. Back to I'm ready depression. <laughs> I don't know. I guess 20 minutes in, I was just expecting a little more from this. And, yeah. you know, it's also possible that I'm just nostalgic for Battle for Bikini Bottom and maybe it doesn't hold up as well as this does either. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know, I also try to be critical of things I'm nostalgic for, you know? Yeah, I feel like you are. I, I try to be. And you played Battle for Bikini Bottom for the first time, like, a year ago. I thought it was fun. And, and I like, was, like, uh, 20 or 19 or something. You were 20, I think? Yeah. So like, And I liked it. <laughs> so, like, first impression, do you think Battle for Bikini Bottom looks way better than this? Yeah. Like, this game looks like a 5 out of 10, and, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom was, like, an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, definitely cartwheel move. Okay, I do like how we're getting new moves, because I said, like, Good. they didn't seem to, like, enough in, like, terms of what you could actually do. Yeah, I had a feeling that we would. Time to spin. Okay, so let's press X. Oh. Uh, that... That controls as awkward as it looks. <laughs> really? That's the best way to put it. That feels so stiff. 
I, it that looks does like, not feel like a finished move. It looks like he should keep going yeah. after it, but he's well, I can mash it. Yeah, I guess, yeah. But, like, it's kind of awkward. That does not feel good to use. Oh, no. I think I was seeing Patrick stronger. Like, he's killing the hammer guys in one hit, whereas mm. SpongeBob had to hit them twice to kill them. So Patrick is the better character. <laughs> so far, because they, they move, like, the same. Whereas in Battle Hurricane Bottom, Patrick was, like, straight up my least favorite to play as because he was so same. awkward. And, like, it wasn't like he was awkward. He just jump sucked. Yeah. Oh, they have, like, numbers on it so you can see how much they're worth. See? Oh. Let's, nice. And I can't ground pound, so I couldn't get the ones under me easily to keep my, my <laughs> macho combo going or whatever. There's manly smash, bubble smash. Why is manly before bubble? Manly bubble smash. <laughs> I feel like we're about to hit the... Uh... Yeah. I love this music. Okay, I can keep it going, but I was holding it down. That's good. Oh, good. That's good. I like this music. Oh, no. oh, now we just have like a bigger... Did we get anything for hitting the number? No. That didn't feel like we, we did anything. Mrs. Puff, I don't really feel like I did anything. <laughs> Got that. I I don't know. I feel like this is a game people vote on because, like, they have five hours of playing this as a kid. I can see why. Like, I wouldn't call this game bad. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, my, I really don't think this holds up as well as people made it out yeah. to. It's one of the better games, I feel like, that yes. we've played yeah, so far, for the polls. <laughs> I think this is the second best game we play in the, the polls so far. Yeah. But, like, considering that we also had Tack and the Power of Juju <laughs> and Eddie the Misadventures, like, I, that's yeah. really not an accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think this is as good as Ultimate Spider-Man was. That was really fun. That was a cool one. That was one, like, I couldn't, I don't think I'd ever do a full Let's Play Ultimate Spider-Man because it was so, mm -hmm. like, repetitive. Yeah. But, like, the physics in that game felt great. Mm -hmm. You know? This game, I feel like the physics feel way too slow. There's, like, no sense of momentum in your movement. They look at... Ooh, Candyland. Are we still in the Goofy Goober place? Also, no, okay, so far, dimension. this doesn't feel like SpongeBob in the level design, either. <laughs> no. I understand you can't just, like, retread levels from the first game and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, I had to give them props for, like, trying to be creative while sticking to, like, the plot of the movie. But, like, nothing about this looks like SpongeBob to me. Yeah, this is just food world. This is just, like, food world. Mm -hmm. It reminds me kind of the opening level of the Simpsons game. Oh, yeah, which, I've seen that. Well, yeah, of course you have. You own it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you don't. I know you don't play it because it's garbage. But, yeah. But like you own and, that um, game. It, it also kind of reminds me of Pooh's Dream from a uh, Piglet. Pooh's Piglet Dream looked a lot prettier though because the textures yeah. weren't this blurry. I don't know why Piglet's <laughs> big game has such great graphics. Yeah, right. The game like isn't so, like it shouldn't have good graphics. Oh my god, there's a. I really want to do a fishbowl on Pickles Big Game, because so far there's one review of the game on YouTube, and it's fucking horrible. Oh. The guy reviewing, he's like, he's trying so goddamn hard to be funny. He's like, oh, no. I can't take the names of Hefflumps and Woozles seriously when they sound like sexually transmitted diseases. And yeah. I'm like, you were really stretching to make a joke there. You know that that's like a real kid's like corruption of elephant and weasel, right? Yeah. And like, the same video, he's like constantly going on about like, Pickles Big Game isn't good, but he's compared it to his, because that was his sister childhood game, he's compared it to his childhood game, Battle for Bikini Bottom, and I'm like... I'm like, Battle for Game Bottom and Pickles for Game like the same level of quality. They're yeah. both like solid like eights out of ten, like that range. Yeah. And he was going on like Battle for Game Bottom is like the greatest game of all time. I'm like, have you played the Kelp Forest or the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard recently? Because they're both mm. horrible. Yeah, that sounds like a person who's caught up in nostalgia. <laughs> oh, completely, completely. And I'm pretty sure he straight up made up a glitch he claimed was in the game. What? He said, you know, like the jackpot hat flumps where they're like, uh, you have to like guess which direction to hold or whatever. Yeah. He claims. He claims and quote quote had footage of it that one of the possible buttons for you to like hit for the hidden button could be the A button, which is also the bail button. Uh -huh. Therefore, which would make it like impossible for you to beat them because that also bails you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's bullshit. I played through that game how many times? I've never encountered that. No yeah. one in the comments has ever encountered that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the problem was that he was just holding the stick in the wrong direction because he seemed like he was dumb enough to do that. <laughs> now I want to watch this. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you. This review is like so hard. Oh, we're driving the car. <gasps> Awesome. Oh, oh geez. Okay, we're driving the car. That's cool. Okay, it's, I take back what I said. This is way. This is something cool. I like this. <laughs> Dude, how do we? Oh, oh shit. It's not the best controlling in the world, but like yeah. it has way more momentum than anything else in this game so far. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. Can I drift now? <laughs> Darn. But like so far, this like this is probably the best part of the game. Mm -hmm. So far. That's fun. Oh, yeah. oh, that was shit. my fault. <laughs> is there any like challenge though? Like are we on time limit or anything? Uh, I don't see a timer. Yeah, I don't see a timer. Just going. Okay, this thing kind of controls like ass because there's no drift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, now that you're in more tight spaces. Why? Uh, why are you... <laughs> I feel like you can't have a driving mechanic in the game without having drift in it because it always yeah. feels awful if you do that. So. Whoa. Oh. 
But no, anyway, uh, yeah, that Pickles Big Air review. I want to do a Pickles Big Air review just to fucking spite that guy, because, like, you were trying so hard to make fun of this game. And it's like, look, this isn't Pets Cats 2. Yeah. Like, he, I think he was looking for, like, one of the, like, laughably bad games, and he couldn't find one. He was like, oh, this is a little kid's game. No one's probably played it, so I can make it look bad. But, like, it's not No, bad. that game's really good. <laughs> and it's like he didn't talk at all about the awesome sense of surreal atmosphere in that game yeah. or like the genuinely kind of creative and cool puzzles or like he didn't talk about how interesting the combat is in that game because that game is one of my favorite combat engines yeah I know it's a good game he for just, a beginner and honestly it's like it's only 10 minutes not going in depth on anything yeah I mean, you gotta be positive in some parts you can't just be like everything sucks I mean again Pets Cats 2 but, like, that's it. That's like a shovelware game. <laughs> yeah. He seemed like he thought Pickles for Game was shovelware, and, like, it's a genuinely good game. Yeah. It has problems. Like, it's definitely got problems. I, no, but... I was going to say that there are some things about Pets Cats 2 that has potential, like Lonesome Park. Yeah, like, Lonesome Park's actually kind of cool with, like, the tornadoes. And then, mm -hmm. like I said before, I feel like just the idea of, like, a cat themed Legend of Zelda game for young kids is not a bad idea, honestly. Yeah, it's just. It's they... just handled poorly. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't do it well at all. They didn't all. do it well, but, like, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? It's a sandwich oh, for health. But, like, there's no damage in this level. Yeah. So, I don't... It, I feel uneasy. I feel like we are being timed, but we're not, because I don't see a clock. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like this seems too easy. Like, so far, nothing can hurt me. There's no yeah. timer. Uh-huh. What are we doing in this level? I don't know. <laughs> we're just kind of driving around. <laughs> like, like is there this... somewhere specific we're supposed to be going? Why is know. Bikini Bottom in shambles right now? Yeah, this didn't happen until the midway point. Oh, okay, that's a pet. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> the hand just comes and like. Okay, puts so I see, I see what was happening. Oh, really? I start that all over. Oh, come on. I see what they were trying to. It was supposed to be like, oh, like this thing picks up the ground and makes a pit, but like it didn't look to me like it picked up the ground. It just looked to me like it was an obstacle that was going up and down, mm -hmm. like to squish you. Yeah. So I can accept that that was my fault, but like, I don't know. I feel like they could have done that a little better. Mm -hmm. Why is there no drift in this game? Okay, so I guess we gotta just get back to where we were now. Yeah. Ooh, go in there. Oh, oh. that's that. <laughs> oh, man. Am I crazy? It looks like an opening. It looked like yeah, cause that thing just burst through it. I think. Oh well. Yeah, like I'm. I'm sorry. That genuinely looked like I could go through that. Oh, well, I thought so too. Well, here, can I go through that? No. Okay. Even no. Though, wait. You can. I can. It's tight, but I can. <laughs> Is that like? Oh, because you get the treasure chest. Uh, you unlocked a new extra. Ooh. Can you tell me what that means? I like how the sandwich falls apart when you jump. Yeah, I like that too. That's that, didn't do that in the movie. I don't know, probably. I have like a really controversial statement here. I don't think the SpongeBob movie is that good. <gasps> but you you, you <laughs> agree with me when I broke it down for you why. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad movie. I, I was going to make that clear. I don't think it's a bad movie. Yeah. I, I think my thing with the SpongeBob movie is I'm upset about what it did for the show after yes. the movie. So we went back and watched the SpongeBob movie like two years ago. And here's what I'll say. It's a cute movie. It, it works. But like, it doesn't hold up to the second or third season of the TV show at all. It's really different. It is really different. And here's the crazy thing. The tone of the movie feels like seasons four and five of SpongeBob, which are usually regarded as like a step down in quality. Yeah. It was like the characters were a little simpler in the movie. Mm -hmm. Some of like the parts of the premise were a little like more out there and not as like, I guess mm -hmm. I don't want to say down to earth because SpongeBob is a very surreal show that's not realistic at all. Yeah. <laughs> but like it has like its own sense of continuity within it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like the movie didn't have that at all. Yeah. And then like, I don't know. I I enjoyed the SpongeBob movie. I didn't think it was as funny as the show. And like, I've gone back and watched the show. We're still rewatching parts of the show all the time. Yeah. So it's not like I was too old or anything. And believe me, I'm sure it's held pretty nostalgic for that movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, me there too. we go. Okay, I took a hit. Oh. I didn't know I could take damage. Wait. You can't go in there. Oh, that looks like you go in there. I want to at least go to that end. I don't want to bump into an invisible wall. <laughs> I know. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah. No, no when we I, went back I and we watched the SpongeBob movie, I feel like we were both kind of disappointed. Like, oh, yeah. that wasn't as good as I remembered it. Yeah, I remember it being like seasons one, two, and three, but it does feel like season four. Yeah, and like season four of SpongeBob is not bad. It's yeah. a good season. It's just like it is a step down from like it one, feels two, and three. Very different. Yeah. Yeah, and like that's just how I felt with like watching the SpongeBob movie back. It was like, oh, that's not as good as I remembered it being. Mm hmm. Did we just go in a circle? Yeah, we did. <laughs> and mind you, I think it was better than, like, the second SpongeBob movie. Which I didn't yeah. think was bad, honestly. The I thought it was decent, too. superhero one? Yeah. Yeah. My issue with that is I feel like the superhero thing should have been a bigger part of the movie. It's just kind of the end. Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing, like, that in the <laughs> advertising. I think it looked cool. And then it's, like, the most of the movie's kind of just, like, a SpongeBob episode that was stretched out. Mm hmm yeah. Also, I really hate how they kind of flanderized the Krusty Krab and the Krabby Patty. Yeah. Like, 
go back and rewatch the first few seasons of the show, the Krabby Patty and the Custard Crab aren't that special. It's just that SpongeBob idolizes them. Yeah. There are, like, days they have where, like, there's no customers and it's really slow and, like, people aren't interested in eating it. Yeah. But then, like, in later seasons, the Krabby Patty is, like, the best food in the world and, like, that's the best restaurant in Bikini Bottom. It's like, that was... It's, never part of the show's original premise. It's like they're taking Spongebob too seriously. You know, like, if you go to the early seasons, it's just supposed to be, like, it's a dead-end fast food job, and Spongebob just, like, is way too into it. Mm-hmm. You know, but then, like, treat it like it's the greatest thing in the world later. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like that kind of started with the movie. I remember when we watched the movie, we were like, a lot of, like, the tropes we don't like from the later seasons came from the movie. Yeah, they did, and that's a shame. There we go. Also, the, can we just talk about how the movie is just an adventure? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like whenever a cartoon has a feature-length film, it's always they go on an adventure. <laughs> yes. Okay. We got to rant about this. We totally got to rant about this. Yeah. So a few years ago, Katie was uh, re-watching Phineas and Ferb, and she showed it to me because I'd never seen the show before. Yeah. And I really liked the first like two seasons of that show. They were really good. Seasons mm-hmm. three and four were a little eh. Yeah. It was boring. But the first two seasons, they weren't bad. They were just kind of boring. Yeah. But like, the first two seasons of Phineas and Ferb were awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, I love them. Then she showed me the movie Across the Second Dimension, which apparently every fan of her fan loves. Mm. I thought it was horrible. Yeah. I'm just like, why are they taking such a fun show and making it so serious and edgy, but like not actually interesting at all? Mm. It was just so bland and generic. Yeah. Like, I hate when a cartoon wants to do a full-length movie. They're like, let's make it some generic save the world plot. Mm. Why? You know what the best cartoon movie ever is? What? 2000, uh, fucking like, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Best yeah. fucking like cartoon yeah. movie based on like, that's not even based on a franchise, I guess, because I was kind of what initiated it. Mm, yeah. But you know what I love about that movie? It's simple. It doesn't need to be complex. Mm-hmm. Like, a good SpongeBob movie shouldn't be complex. It should just be simple. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't like that about the, uh... This is actually the level I saw of the game. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that does not look as cool as the other one. That Aww. animation looks really awkward. Yeah, like, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> That's just gonna be the guy who throws torpedoes at you. Yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> yep, from, from Battle for Bikini Bottom. But, like, okay, so we saw, like, Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension, and I'm just like, there's no personality in this movie. There's no humor. It's the most generic yeah. goddamn plot in the world. And it takes itself so seriously. Yeah. And the weird thing is, like, I liked that. I loved it when I first saw it when I was younger. Like, why do people, but, but like, why? It's because not it was Phineas a movie. Because it was a movie with Phineas and Ferb characters, so you assume yeah. it's good. But like, yeah. it's not. That movie is like so. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't get what made Phineas and Ferb funny. I don't want to see them being badass. No, it was so <laughs> out of place and just not good. They're kids. <laughs> Although honestly, part of my problem with the later seasons of Phineas and Ferb was they tried to take shit too seriously. Oh yeah. They destroyed Candace Flynn's character. Candace Flynn, the first two seasons, the best part of the show, and then later, like, they shouldn't have made her have a serious relationship with Jeremy. That yeah, killed her character. That was so bad. Candace's whole character is that like. She's She's, a freak. She's insane. The only two people in the world who respect her are her brothers, and she hates them for no reason. Uh Like, that was funny. That was her whole thing. That was her whole thing was that, like, she is, like, so nasty to them, but, like, they're the only people who like her. Mm Mm-hmm. Making her date Jeremy, I didn't like... I like Jeremy as just, like, this kind of unaware doofus. Yeah, that was was funny. Jeremy was so funny when he was just kind of, like, dumb and didn't know what was going on. Like, one of my favorite episodes is when, like, Candace, like, invites Jeremy to dinner, and Jeremy's like, let's go to the restaurant your brother's open in your backyard. (laughs) Okay, it's like, what? And, like, she's the only one who sees anything wrong with it. And Jeremy's, like, just completely, like, accepts it. Yeah. That was great, because they knew that Jeremy should be kind of an idiot. But then, then, because the fans shipped them, they decided to make them an official relationship. And suddenly, Jeremy goes from that to being, like, Mr. Generic Sweet Guy. Yeah. And it's just like, it's not funny anymore. It's boring. It's just for, like, lonely people who want to feel like they're in a relationship. Yeah, Dan, Dan, Papa Meyer, and, and Swampy, they, they catered too much to their fan base. No, completely. Completely. They should not have done anything serious like that. They didn't need ships. Candace is better as just a single freak. Yeah. (laughs) She was so much funnier like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, Across the Second Dimension also tried to take her seriously in, like, the badass version of her. Mm -hmm. Which I just didn't like. I didn't like seeing a role with Doofenshmirtz took over because it's too serious. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I just... mm. And even, like, when they had, like, something funny in that movie, like, when, when evil Doofenshmirtz was showing, like, normal Doofenshmirtz how Perry the Platypus, like, has the disguise or whatever, mm-hmm. that was funny at first. He was just like, what does this look like? He goes, that's a platypus. Then he puts his hat on and he goes, Perry the Platypus! That was funny. <laughs> yeah. Then they over-explained the joke. Then he was like, no, 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 that's not Perry the Platypus. Or, or, or that's not, like, suddenly Perry the Platypus is the same. He just has a hat on or whatever. And it's like, you don't need to explain the joke to me. I got the joke. Yeah. The, you made the joke less funny by explaining they it. They started doing that a lot in the later seasons of okay, Phineas Doofenshmirtz. I mean, he always over-explained no, himself, but... 
originally, Doofus versus Joker was that he over his evil plans. Yeah. That was funny. He wasn't over to the viewer. He was over his plans to Perry. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Later on, they started making Doofus versus over his jokes to the viewer. Yeah. That's not f They, like, misinterpreted what Doofus versus was originally about, which makes sense. They also misinterpreted what Candace Flynn was about and what Jeremy was about, even mm -hmm. though it was their own characters. They started taking them too seriously and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, in the case of Doofus versus, it's like, he was funnier when he was not explaining shit to the viewer. Yeah. They assumed that the viewer could get the joke without Doofus first needing to explain it. Uh -huh. The joke was that he was over explaining his evil plans to Perry and in the meantime distracting himself, you know? Mm -hmm. And getting yeah. like off topic and going on weird tangents. Yeah. Like I love where he's like, you know, I don't get genies. Like, what do, who benefits <laughs> from them messing up your jokes? Is it the genie? He, what does he get out of it? Like that's funny, because he's just going on these weird tangents, you know? Yeah, he was he was so funny. He used to be my favorite. Him and Candace were I, I was gonna say, my favorite. Are you saying he's your favorite? Um hello? Miss... Yeah, I've, I've only said it like twice on this channel that Candace was my sexual. Yeah, miss awakening. Miss I started drawing porn of Candace when I was like thirteen. <laughs> okay, young me likes the seconds mention Candace because she had little boobs. <laughs> so it was a step up from what she <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's like the most. That's like 13 the best. year old Katie was like, oh. 13 year old Katie was like, oh, finally, she has boobs. <laughs> <sighs> that is the best reason to like, mm -hmm. like. That's like the only reason to like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we gotta bounce. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm not a fan of how linear this game is. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, the. I don't need Plankton chanting out Plan Z. Yo, yeah, I was gonna say, what's he doing? <laughs> it's because he said that in the movie. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't want to sound too negative. Like I said, I feel like this game had effort put in. Uh huh. I really feel like there was effort put into this game. It just like... Yeah. It just doesn't... It didn't work because I don't think they had enough time to make this game actually good. Yeah, this looks really disorienting. Um, it's not that bad, honestly. <laughs> yeah, maybe just for me. It's just like... I don't know, I'm really just not enjoying this game, that's unfortunate, because I love Battle for Bikini Bottom. Mm -hmm. But like, this just feels like Battle for Bikini Bottom's like, prototype. Even yeah. though it came out after, you know what I mean though? Yeah. It doesn't feel like a finished game, this feels like this game would become a good game if they had like another six months to work on it. Mm -hmm. And that's really unfortunate. Yeah. I wonder how many enemies we made by saying the second dimension sucked. Oh god. I want to do a fishbowl on that, because I just want to tear- it. I just want to be like, this movie could have been great if they s completely scrapped the premise and started over and didn't make it out saving the world. Oh my god, please do that. Because we both like Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, no, so I love like, Phineas and Ferb. I also, okay, honestly, I would want to do a general uh, Phineas and Ferb fishbowl in which I talk about why the show worked in its first two seasons and why it fell apart in seasons three and four. Yes. I haven't seen this episode yet, but I heard there's an episode where they go to the future and see like all their lives in the future. Oh, and yeah. And I that's an old this. one. I haven't seen this. No, no, no. It was like the second to last one or something. Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I know what you're talking about. You and it your, just takes place in the future. Yeah, you and your brother like told me about it. Yeah. And honestly, from what I heard about it, it's like that just sounds so awful. It, it was just the creators being like, oh, let's fan canonize, service. Yeah, let's, let's canonize all the fan ships. And like yeah. that was it. It's just like, like Ferb and Vanessa. Like that was cute in the show, but like I don't want that to be canon. Yeah, I don't like. Okay. Honestly, Phineas and Ferb took place over one summer, and I wish that was the extent of it. I wish I didn't know what happened after that summer. Yeah. I liked it being one summer. Mm-hmm. So, also like, the... having a future episode that canonizes what happened after the summer, I hate that. That's awful. Yeah. Also, so, the... It'd be like if they made a sequel to, like, uh, what you call it? Uh, fucking... It's Truman Show. If they made a sequel yeah. to Truman Show. Like, I'd hate that. Like, don't. The old, yeah, the whole point is that you don't know what happens to him afterwards. Yeah, so, like, if, I mean, obviously that's much more serious than Phineas and Ferb, but, yeah. like... <laughs> It's the same general idea where it's like, I don't want to know what happens next. Yeah. I'd rather be up in the air. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what were you going to say? The design they gave Candace in that future episode, she was ugly. Yeah, I remember you telling me adult Candace was ugly. Did that disappoint you? Yeah. <laughs> she had a weird head. I mean, she always has Katie, a weird head. everyone but... on that show has weird heads. <laughs> Phineas is a triangle. He's a nacho? He's a nacho. <laughs> Dorito head. <laughs> But I guess we're going anyway, here now. Yeah. I feel like, like this level, I can't tell where I am spatially because it feels so generic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, the music in this game is nowhere near as good as Battle for Me Bombs either. It's so forgettable. Yeah. yeah. The only music I remember liking was the one back at the Goofy Goober place. <laughs> oh, you switch characters in the porta potty. Do I need to switch? <laughs> what? That's I don't feel basically. like I need to switch. <laughs> like, what can Patrick do that SpongeBob can't so far? Oh, he's stronger. Yes, but like SpongeBob has like that move. Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't really be able to do much as Patrick here. No. Oh well. You know, there was a Phineas and Ferb video game, so Candace Flynn could be in Smash. <laughs> we didn't play it. <laughs> I feel like it's probably awful. <laughs> it 
Probably. Oh god, they're dead. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> the hillbillies are dead. They just fucking killed them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the last thing I was expecting. <laughs> was no, no. I just... <laughs> they didn't die in the movie. Or did they? I don't remember. No, Dennis ripped their mouths off. Oh, yeah. That was it, though. They lived. I mean, yeah. maybe they'll starve to death because now they can't eat. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he indirectly killed them. But, like, I don't know, that's cartoony because you can't rip off someone's mouth. It's like you can't rip off a hole in someone's head, you know? <laughs> yeah. Loading, loading. Okie dokie coral. Um, I don't care what she's saying. <laughs> You're not Scarlett Johansson, so I don't care what you have to say. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now we're going to be like, how the fuck do I play this? I feel like we do that so much. We're like, we skip the tutorial, <laughs> like, how the fuck do I play this? Yeah. We're, oh, we're, well. we're both Ego Raptor in, in spirit. Oh, destroy we're towers. Where? <laughs> the difference is we're aware. Ego Raptor's not. Yeah. I hear Plankton. I hear the voice of Plankton in my head. Oh, God. You remember back in Nixie's Unite? Get it out. You remember back in Nixie's Unite where I'm like, I thought I saw Plankton on the door. I'm like, let's go to those Plankton ass doors, and it wasn't Plankton. <laughs> and then and then Emma's like, you thought you saw the voice of Plankton, like, in your soup or whatever. <laughs> Or you thought you saw the face of Plankton, and I'm like, I see Plankton. I see Plankton. They walk around, and they don't know they're Plankton. <laughs> oh my okay, god. I, I don't think the next season Let's Play holds up as a whole, but, like, I feel like it has so many good moments like that. They're good memories from it. The next season Let's Play is, like, so much, like, there are so many funny parts in it. There's just a lot of, like, boring in between them. Yeah. And that's mostly because, like, it was my first time going back to Let's Play. It might as well have been a first Let's Play again. Mm-hmm. Right. That just clipped there. <laughs> funny. I mean, that kind of happened in Balcony Bottom also. That just happens in low-budget games, I feel like. Yeah, I thought it was funny looking. <laughs> no, I'm a forgiving of games for, like, budgetary problems. I understand yeah. so many, especially licensed games, almost never have a budget. Yeah, totally. Because, like, 900 Frights is, like, a good game with a terrible budget problem. And I think it falls apart in the second half. Like, I will not defend the second half of the game. It has so many bad design choices. Uh -huh. But, like, I'm not going to criticize the graphics in that because, like, you know, it's a low-budget game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, bam. They're just like dominoes. <laughs> and that's like a xylophone. <laughs> that looks like the bridge from Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. Oh god, there's poop falling from- oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this level's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, so far this level's fun when you're not platforming. Or yeah. sorry, this game is fun when you're not platforming. Yeah. This game, like, the driving level is fun, this is fun. Because those levels are supposed to be straightforward. Yeah, like, this level I find fun because, like, linear. it doesn't feel like- I don't want to explore this level, I just want to, like, zoom through it, and it's fun. Yeah, like Sanic. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, it feels like Sonic, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the platforming levels, it's like, I want to explore those, and there's nothing to explore. It's linear. Yeah. And that's such a... Just a I don't like when sequels drastically change the gameplay style. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I didn't like about um, Slides 2 and 3 versus Slide 1, is that they just felt like different games. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ah, like, it's like, it's still a sequel. Like, this doesn't feel like Battle for It does in terms of movement. It totally feels like Battle for in terms of movement, but it doesn't feel like Battle for in terms of level design, you know? Mm -hmm. That said, levels like this are doing enough that I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Why are they in oh, the geez. sink? They probably explained that, but... Yeah, it was probably in the cutscene we skipped. <laughs> okay, I'm about to die. I need, I need a sandwich quickly. I need a golden pair of underwear so I can get more health. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish there was health in some of these breakables. Yeah, why isn't there? That's weird. Oh, well. I feel like there's either too much health or not enough health so far in this game. <laughs> I was Bam. noticing in the in the wave part earlier that they were giving you a lot of health. Yeah, well that was an earlier level, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Again, I just want to apologize that we're not sounding like we're liveliest today. Mm -hmm. I, I would have preferred to record this on a different day, but time limits. We kind yeah. of had to do this today. That said, I feel like, you know, I feel like, oh shit. I feel like, oh, oh, oh no. no! Oh, oh, we just got oh, checked. Thank, thank God, thank God. All right. Anyway, I, I'm sorry it's not our best work, but mm -hmm. uh, sorry. So when I was a kid, I didn't know that Scarlett Johansson was Mindy, and so like I didn't get the joke of why she like everyone thought she was so hot. Oh, Scarlett Johansson <laughs> is very attractive. Yeah. She is. She is up there. What do you think? I think so. I think she's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sound like me now. That's like my thing is that like I, I rate stuff. I do that like all the time in person too. Yeah, you like do. Like I was at work and like someone had like a, a salad and I said, that's a really nice salad. I'm like, yeah, that's like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. You're not just like it's either 10 out of 10 or 0 out of 10. You actually think through your ratings. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, no! oh dear. That was my fault. You dot. I felt really long. Oh, yeah. You know, like, like I'd be like, okay, so uh, I'm working in Adobe InDesign now, and Adobe InDesign is like a 3.2 out of 10. <laughs> something like that, you know? Yeah. 
Oh, what the? Oh, all towers destroyed. Awesome. Oh, so sweet. What was the point of the towers? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we should play a little longer before we end off. Yeah, she's back. Yeah, I was always like, she's not that hot. Why does Patrick have such a crush on her? It's because she's then, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, but then like when I met you, you told me that it was Scarlett Johansson. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. How come King Neptune had a full head of hair in both the TV show and Battle for Bikini Bottom, but then the movie and the movie game, he's bald? <laughs> His hair was thinning. Like, I understand that, like, in the show, it's because that was made, like, four years earlier, five years earlier, I think, because mm -hmm. it was 1999 versus 2004. But, like, it's just so weird that Battle for Kingdom Bottom was, like, the first game in this series, and this is the second one, and King Neptune was completely different between the two because the movie redesigned him. <laughs> yeah. Well, he used to have a long, flowing mane, and then he lost it all. I always assumed they were two different King Neptunes. I always thought that, too. I don't even think I noticed that they had the same like, mane. I think the one with hair is, like, actually a god. Yeah. And then like the he's other like a one, Greek god. and then like the other one is just straight up like the king, mm -hmm. you know, like he's not actually a god or because like they made fun of Mindy saying she doesn't have Murray and magic. Yeah, true. What? We we have a level select screen. What? We're this far into the game and suddenly we have a level select. What? <laughs> did we always or did? I don't know. We're okay. I didn't bring that menu up. That just popped up. <sighs> Patrick is still drunk, by the way. I know. Well, now he's in a bar, so I guess that makes sense. Why is the frame rate so choppy? Do you see that? Yeah, it's not that much here, is there? Why is his frame rate? It's not like the graphics game are that good. <laughs> oh God, it's terrible. Oh, he's the uh, hand enemy. <laughs> yeah, the hand enemy. Because these are just enemies. He said he takes way too many hits. Yeah, jeez. Right, maybe it's just a stealth past them. We need a projector. I mean, I'm sure Scarlett Johansson told us what to do. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> You know what's interesting is that originally Battle for Kingdom Bottom, you were going to fight fish as enemies. Mm -hmm. Like, throw body fish, and they change it because that would have been, like, too violent or something. Oh. But then this game, you straight up fight fish. You're just killing fish. How do I... What? What's that? Upgrades? Oh, my God. There's an upgrade system, and we didn't even know. I feel like we have most of the abilities already. Yeah. How long is this game? How many hours is it? I don't know. How do I ground pound? I, I, I don't know. You have to be... B. Oh. Did you not get I it? probably have to get... I have to, like, buy it from Mindy. She unlocked the uh, ability last time. That's probably what I gotta do. Mm. So, I guess... Roll on back to Mindy. Or cartwheel on back to Mindy. Yeah, I can't rather. do anything until I, uh... I wish to see what she says this time. We need ten tokens. Oh, yeah. I like how it censored... Oh, that's why this menu came up. Oh. I like how it censored her out with the, uh... Dolphin sound when she said the move name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fun. We're like a third of the way through the game, see? Jeez. There's levels on the side. Turn the tables on Plankton. Does it just, it just gives you the names of all the levels. Belfry came on to that too. Did, uh, did it? I thought there were question marks for the titles of the. There's question marks for the missions. Uh... If you haven't got them, but the levels, you can see them all. I mean, the instruction manual spoiled all the levels for you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't read that. <laughs> I kind of liked how the menu was being sassy there. I was trying to go back to this level. <laughs> what did it say? I must. It was like, are you sure you want to go there? And then I said, yes. And I said, are you sure? And I said, yes already. And then I said, all right, then. You ah. asked for it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hey, Mindy. <laughs> We're back here because apparently there's another mission we can do here. Oh. So what was the other mission? Time challenge. Mm. Okay, there's a clock now. Oh, cool. we got to beat 340. Okay, that sounds too I bad. think you can. That might be the last thing we do today, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much more I can say about this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so something I want to bring up is I was interested in doing some live streams. Mm hmm. Anyway, that they wouldn't be like regular gameplay, probably. It'd be like hacking videos. Um, anyone might remember my old Out of Bounds series from like 2014, where like I just like used hacks to get in like the backgrounds levels, just ran around through those. I remember that. Um, I know there's a series on YouTube called Boundary Break uh, by this guy called Sheezes, and he's honestly really cool. Except he totally ripped off my idea because I started doing that like a year before he did. Oh. So I mean, though he probably never even heard of me. <laughs> I'm just gonna say he ripped off my idea because I totally did it first and I had the videos to prove it. Yeah. But um, anyway, would people be interested in us doing like live streams or stuff like that? Because I kind of want to do Battle for Bikini Bottom, Knife Under Frights. Uh, there's probably just a Sly Cooper I want to get in the background for. Mm -hmm. So uh, here, there's a poll in the uh, upper right corner. Click the eye notification icon that YouTube thinks stands out and really doesn't. <laughs> and uh, tell us, do you want to see us do live streams like that? Maybe some other kind of videos? Like, would you like to see us play like Smash or Mario Kart, maybe with fans or something? Yeah. Um, Maybe. Maybe stuff like these, like the monthly, bi-monthly poll winners we could do live. I don't mm -hmm. know. People interested in that? Um, do a live Tomodachi episode. <laughs> oh, we, I'm planning to, actually. 
Hi. I'm actually, uh, not to spoil anything, but I am kind of planning on doing a live Tomodachi Life episode, possibly where people can design a character Ooh. for the island. So stay tuned. That won't be right away. That'll be like a little ways down. Because I know we haven't uploaded Tomodachi Life in a month and a half. Um, we have been recording them. We have been recording them. I've just been busy, and I want to focus on finishing yeah. uh, Pets, Cats 2 and yeah. Night Hunter Frights first. They coming. They're, they're coming. They're coming back soon. Um, they'll be coming in the very near future. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, I said this before, but like the bios for Tomodachi Life take as much time to edit as the entire rest of the episode. I spend a good like hour sometimes or more on those mm -hmm. bios. They look really funny though. They are. Yeah, well, that's that's why um, going forward, I'm gonna have a different workflow where actually I'm gonna have Katie help me edit those mm -hmm. so they can potentially go quicker because, ow. <laughs> because I'll never be able to finish them if I have to make those all myself. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just not enough time in the world. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Ah. I wish we had some indication how close to the end we are. Yeah. Jeez. Oh my god, jeez Louise. Oh, please tell me that if I die, it doesn't start the timer. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, it leaves you right there. Yeah, okay. that's that's nice, although the timer uh, just, like keeps going. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like that it doesn't, like, Battle for Kini Bottom, if you die during a timer challenge, you'd have to, first of all, if you had to finish, like, what you were on, it would respawn you mm. part way through, but the timer would be gone, so you actually have to go back to the start then. Oh, yeah. Which, that was awful. I mean, I think, honestly, I prefer either it set you back and, like, Set the timer to whatever it was when you passed the checkpoint, mm -hmm. which I understand would make it probably too easy. Or, like, either I listen to the battle from Kini Bottom, just send you back to the top then if you die, like, maybe get rid of checkpoints then. Mm -hmm. But this way is kind of cool too, because this way it's like you're punished for dying, but, like, it's not like you had to do the whole thing twice now, guaranteed. You still have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's good. No, I appreciate that. That's nice. I've heard that some of the later levels in this game get really strict, so. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it up here? Was this where we had to go? <laughs> I hope so. Because we only have 30 seconds left! Oh, oh let's no. go. I think we're good, honestly, because I remember this being near the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I recognize this part. All right, let's let's jump, jump. All oh. that water's just flying out of the tub right jump, now. Jump, make your heart pump. Listen to the beat and put it in your feet. Listen to your feet and put it in the beat. <laughs> if you're elementary school song that song, it was the best. It's like beat from Pets Cats too. Oh, we only have five. <laughs> oh no! Four. Where's the oh. end? I don't think we made it. I don't know where the end it. is. Damn it! It's like right over here, I think. <laughs> no. That's unfortunate. Darn. We were close though, I think. I don't know. This, this <laughs> is still not. going. We might have made it the wrong way. If we didn't die, we probably would have been a little better. Yeah. So that so, sounds back like 20 seconds. We basically beat it though. If we didn't die. <laughs> you have a limited amount oh, I was expecting her to be like sassy or something. Yeah, I know. Mindy's nice. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's probably a good place to end yeah. this one off. Alright, Patrick's like, if I can't impress Mindy, then I'm done with this world. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's done. He's, you know that dried up starfish at the beginning? That was because Mindy rejected him. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's Patrick's fate. <laughs> Poor Patrick. So, uh, thank you all very much for voting on this poll. Um, as always, if you're interested in voting on future polls, I run these bi-monthly polls on my Discord server. The next one will go up probably November 1st. Mm -hmm. And that'll be a game that we then play in December. Mm -hmm. So feel free to vote there. Um, I'm disappointed this game didn't hold up as much as I was expecting it to have. Yeah. It was. It had enjoyable parts, but like, it's not. It's no battle for Bikini Bottom. That's for sure. You just keep killing yourself. Why well, I'm just stalling? <laughs> SpongeBob is doing the King of the World thing. <laughs> he was a big fan of Titanic. <laughs> but um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Fabulous Fish and Katatsui 101. And as always, uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.